general relativity step by step. Last time I worked out the velocity of an object at rest, which was this rather boring vector here. Now I'm going to work out the four velocity, I'll just pinch in a bit, the four velocity of an object moving at speed u, v, w. Three components, I guess that should be a column vector really. U, v and w. So it's speed in the x direction, speed in the y direction and speed in the z direction. So we've got the four velocity u equals ds by d tau equals d by d tau of uh, the four velocity. That's going to be t that's going to be u times t, I guess. That's going to be v times t, u, v, w times t as well. t, b, d, tau. Um, these are constants. u and v and w are constants. So when I start to differentiate here, this u and v and w, because they're constants, they just disappear. Well, they don't disappear, but they commute past the operation. So that's dt by d tau u times dt by d tau. This one is v dt by d tau. And the final one is w dt by d tau. Okay. And we know what that is. That's just gamma. Gamma u, gamma v, gamma w. And that is the components... of four velocity in a particular frame, in a frame in which the three velocity, or the velocity as you kind of usually measure it, is just u, v, w. Look at that, isn't that nice? That's really, really nice, that. So let me give you a tip. Let me just give you a bit of advice here. Never, ever, ever, ever work with this. It's horrible. The three velocity sucks. The, the three three velocities, they, they, there's complicated laws and they, they, it's not commutative, it's not associative. There's ghastly, 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 terrible algebra. Terrible. You need a gyration and there's a thing called a Larmor precession and Thomas, no, is it Thomas precession? And Oh, the horrible, horrible, horrible nightmare. Whereas this four velocity just works. So I'm going to spend quite a long time talking about four velocities, and then what I'm going to do is to start linking four velocities, because we can talk about them using vector notation, sorry, using index notation. So we can talk about four velocities using tensor algebra, and then we can start to think about how um, fluid mechanics and how energy and how stress works in, in a relativistic context to prepare ourselves for the Einstein field equations. So I'm going to stop there. I like that. The four velocity is really good. I'm going to wax lyrical about four velocity because I think it's really, really, really rather cool. Stop. <laughs>